Then you're gonna use the red paint to paint the paint. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Disney Princess Club. My name is Caitlin. Today, I'm gonna be doing something super fun. I'm painting eggs, princess themed eggs. I'm making and sending a gift basket to one of my friends from the Disney Princess Club. So I thought it'd be cool to also make her a few custom princess eggs myself. And you can tune into part two of this video to check out her gift basket. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, back to the princess eggs. Today, I'll be painting Ariel, Belle, and Aurora. This is the princess Ariel themed egg. I love the scales. This is the princess Belle themed egg. I love how it shimmers. And lastly, but not least, the Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora. I love the collar. It's such a cute touch. Hey, maybe you can paint princess themed eggs too. I can show you how. You'll need paint, paint brushes, a black marker, pencil, paper, tape, paper towel, safety scissors, a paint palette, or empty egg carton. And lastly, you can't forget the eggs! <laughs> you should watch what I do step by step before you try it and make sure you have a parent or get adult supervision along the way. Let's get started! First, you must ask a parent or get adult supervision when boiling your eggs. The eggs need to be hard so you can paint them. Then, once they finish boiling, you have to wait until they fully cool down to room temperature before you can start painting. I'm going to start with an aerial themed egg. The materials you'll need are a room temperatured hard boiled egg, red, light green, green and green glitter paint, tape, a paint palette or empty egg carton, four paint brushes, safety scissors, purple craft paper, and a paper towel. You can also use just one paint brush, but you'll have to wash out the brush in between colors. First thing you're gonna do is run tape around the egg to make a clean line around the middle, like that. Then we're gonna use the red paint to paint the area above the tape line. That's Ariel's hair. Try not to put too much paint on your paintbrush. I like to do light strokes and then add another coat to make the color darker. Now we just have to wait for the paint to dry. Then we can remove the tape. And if you have extra time, you can watch the paint dry. Just kidding! Okay, all dry. Now we're gonna take the tape off. All done. And now we're gonna use the light green paint to paint the bottom of the egg. This is for Ariel's tape. I love how Ariel was so adventurous. She always wanted to explore the ocean and the human world. Now let's wait for this to dry. All right, let's check if it's dry. Perfect, all dry. Now let's make some scales. We'll use the dark green paint for this part. The scales are just half circles, somewhat like a stretched out letter U. Each row of scales should start at a different point than the row above, like this. And don't worry if you make a mistake. You know, real scales aren't always perfect. All right, now time for the waiting game. Okay, let's check if it's all dry. Perfect. Now let's paint over the scales with green glitter. Just like that. Wow, it's so shiny. I know Ariel loves shiny things. All right, time for the final step. Look how far we've come! And last but not least, we're going to make a band for Ariel's shell top. Please ask a parent or get adult supervision for this step. We're going to cut out a rectangle. It should be about three inches long and a half inch wide. This is gonna wrap around the center of the egg and connect it at the back with tape. Just like that. Wow, we did it! Check out 
that's the Princess Ariel egg. One down, two to go. Let's move on to Belle. For the Princess Belle themed egg, we're going to need red, black, gold, and gold glitter paint, four paint brushes, a hard boiled egg, a paint palette or empty egg carton, a black marker, and a pencil. And remember, if you just have one brush, it's okay because you can wash it out between colors. This entire egg will be painted gold. We'll start with one side first, let that dry, then paint the other side. Okay, now let's wait for it to dry. Okay, looks like the whole egg is dry. Now time to add the gold glitter paint. All right, make sure it's evenly coated all around the egg. Hmm. Okay, let's leave it to dry. <coughs> Looks like it's all dry. Wow, look how shiny it is. Okay, now I'll draw three circles in the center of the egg. Then fill it in with red paint. First circle, second circle, and third circle. There we go. Now time to paint the circles red. Dry time! Now we'll use black paint to paint a spiral in the center of the three circles. I'll show you how. Like this. And then we use a black marker to outline around the circles. Just like this. Take your time doing this. Making lines is a bit complicated. All right, look how it's coming together. This Princess Belle themed egg is so cool. We're on to our final egg, guys. You ready? For the Princess Aurora themed egg, we're going to need a room temperature hard boiled egg, tape, safety scissors, paper, a paint palette or empty egg carton, three paint brushes, light pink, pink, and pink glitter paint. Okay, now we're gonna take a piece of tape and wrap it around the middle of the egg, just like we did before, to make a clean line. Just like that. Now, we're going to take the dark pink paint and paint the area above the tape line. This will start Aurora's dress. And even if you make a mistake, it's okay. Just stay cheerful like Aurora. Okay, looks good. Now time to let it dry. Hey Aurora, are you ready yet? All right, let's check and see. Perfect, all dry. Now let's take the tape off. And there we go. Now we're going to apply the light pink paint to the bottom. All right. This looks done, time to let it dry. Now, we'll apply the pink glitter paint to the top portion of the egg. Just like this. And that looks about ready. Let's wait for it to dry. This is the last step of the day. For this step, you need a parent or an old supervision. Using the white craft paper, cut a straight line with two half circles next to each other. This will make the collar for Aurora's dress. I'm going to wrap the paper around the egg and connect it at the back with tape. Wow, looking good, Princess Aurora. This was so much fun. Thanks for joining me. I hope your princess eggs look beautiful too. I'm sure they will. Okay, so I'll be sending over these princess themed eggs along with some surprise gifts to one of my friends from the Disney Princess Club. Here's the basket I'm using. In they go. Ta-da! You can check out part two of this video to see if she likes the eggs and to check out the surprise gift she got. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching the Disney Princess Club. Bibbidi, bobbidi, bye!